Social Sites 2010 version 2.0 has added some exciting new features for improved community functionality, email integration, flexible stream views, and search integration. Today, I'm going to take you through some of these new features and give you an overview of how they can add to your social site's experience. New to version 2.0, companies can now create and manage templates for different types of communities. When you go to create a new community, you'll notice that a new page appears in which you can set a title, website, and specific access permissions. The template selection tab determines what lists and features are available to users according to community type. For instance, by clicking on team site, I can create a site for teams to quickly organize, author, and share information. The document workspace tab, however, creates a site more catered to document collaboration with important add-ons such as document libraries and relevant task and link lists. Also new to 2.0, you can now manage classifications and interests for a community to make it more easily discoverable and accessible with hashtags. Let's take a look at this feature within the help and feedback community. Now as you can see, within the community admin tab, there is a new link allowing for edits to classifications and interests for a community. Clicking this link opens a simple dialog in which you can apply particular community tags. The first option, classifications, enables tags to make the community more easily discoverable through a related user search. In this particular community, for example, the term help has been added as a classification. Thus, any entry in the search center including this term will return the community name as a result. Terms entered in the interests field function similarly to those entered in the user profile. Public items in the activity stream that have these terms as hashtags will automatically show up in the community activity stream view, even if they weren't targeted at this community. In this case, all activity stream items with the hashtags help or feedback will display automatically in the community's activity stream. Next, version 2.0 brings you advanced email integration. For users who want to initiate microblogs or questions by sending emails, there is now a global address for emailing a microblog in question your company will need to configure appropriately. If I want to send a microblog email to this activity stream, for example, I simply set my email recipient, type my microblog content, and press send. Returning to the public activity stream, you'll notice that my email shows up as an original microblog post from me. When sending a question, just change the recipient address accordingly and follow the same steps. In addition to global emails, individual community owners can now enable inbound microblog and question addresses for their specific community. This is available through a setting on the setup page located under the admin tab. In the help and feedback community, for example, you'll see that the incoming email function has been enabled. This checked box signals that I can send microblogs and questions directly to its news stream. If I were to email a microblog message at the help and feedback community, the result is just like sending to the global address, but with the message targeting the specific community. Next, new to version 2.0, Social Sites brings you flexible stream views. Three new web parts have been added to address common use cases where a view of public stream activity is useful. First, the hashtag filter web part shows public events that match one or more hashtags. One use case for this is a landing page for a specific event or activity where everyone uses a particular hashtag. The person filter web part is designed to show the public microblogs and questions of one or more users. An example use case to show the thoughts of a senior leader so everyone can easily view them without requiring users to add that leader as a colleague. The community filter web part shows the updates from one or more public communities. A use case to create a landing page around a particular topic and include all the updates from relevant communities. Finally, Social Sites includes its own search capability within the activity stream web part and the vast majority of content is indexed directly by SharePoint. In this release, you now have the capability to have SharePoint index public microblogs and questions and the comments and answers to them. Users searching through SharePoint or FastSearch will see these items in line with other search results. 
For instance, if I were to search for the term Accenture, you'll notice that public microblogs, questions, comments, and answers now appear alongside other results, making relevant activity stream items easier to discover. With that, we'll wrap up part two of the new base features tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching, and please make sure to keep an eye out for an announcement about the next video, an overview of IdeaStream.